everyone. Today I'm going to do a little video on the cinch. I got this in the mail um, about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago now, and I've, I haven't done too much with it. But I'm just going to make a little book for my daughter today. Um, she loves little scrapbooks that she can quickly fill out with writing or little pictures. And I used these coasters that I found at Target probably for a quarter in the dollar section. They were marked down. And since they have such a crazy edge, it was hard to put them in the cinch without it without it being able to line up correctly. So I trimmed the edges straight so that it would be able to be lined up. And then I trimmed a bunch of colorful paper to put in the middle that she'll get to scrapbook on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line them up and tap them straight. Now, on the cinch, I have three of the knobs pushed in because I'm only going to put, actually, you know what? I'm going to push five of these. I think five should be good. And I did them in the middle. I could have done them at the edge, but what I found is there is a center button or center mark right here so it helps me to center my project and get them exactly where they need to be. I'm just going to put the coasters and the paper all together and push them in as far as they go. It'll feel like they're stopped, but you want to keep going past that part so if there's a little resistance, especially if you're using something thick. And then you're just going to push down and then pull it back up and then pull it out. And there's the holes. Okay? So that's that part. And since I, I only punched five holes, I'm going to need a string of five wires. So, I'm just going to count them, one, two, three, four, five, and then cut them with wire cutters. And I don't have pink wire cutters yet, so I need to start looking for one. I thought I did because um, I make necklaces, but I can't seem to find them. So, okay, then these pieces go on the side of the cinch. Just kind of spread them out so that they hang there. And then you will put your, there we go, then we will put your holes, line up your holes. It looks like I cut off a little more than I needed. <laughs> okay, so line up the holes, one, two, I skipped a hole. Now. It does look a lot easier on some other people's videos, but since this is really my first project, um, I'm not making it look so easy. But I think, there we go, I think what I've done is I've, I've spread them out too far. Okay, so as you can see, I have a little bit too much, so I'm just going to cut this little piece off. I guess that's how you learn. Okay, so there you go. You have that part in. Then you're going to turn the cinch around because they've thought of everything. And you're going to center this in here. You can adjust the side knob, which allows you to um, adjust the size of the wire that you, the O wire that you're putting in there. And mine is set on one inch. And then I'm just going to squeeze. Basically, what that knob does is it tells it when to stop squeezing. And I'm just going to keep checking it because I don't want to squeeze it too far. Then that's all you do. It's attached and there's her little book. So now I'm, I'm going to put the cinch away. Put it to the side. And I'm going to decorate the top just a tiny bit for her. So it looks a little blingier. I am going to glue a 2 by 2 inch square on the front in purple. It's her favorite color. And then I'm going to pop dot the first letter of her name. She'll like that. Onto the 2 inch square. And then after that, we will tie ribbons to the sides. So I'm just going to pick random colors. I'm going to use some different shades of pink and a polka dot pink. 
and I'm just going to decorate the ends. And I'm just going to do this haphazardly so it looks funky and full. And then after you look, it looks like that it's pretty full with ribbon. You can, of course, this this book could have had more pieces of paper, but I chose just a few pieces of paper because she likes a nice book that she can complete really quick. After you think it looks like enough room, and then it's done. And there's her little scrapbook with her little pages in it. You could do one of these for a baby and add the pictures to it for the mother and little cute sayings about having a new baby and so on. But I'm going to let her be creative with this. So thanks for watching.